<laughs> so do you want to talk about that a little bit? I was, I got kind of into stuff and it, it was triggered this morning because I'm reading the whole Dharma's Reflection uh -huh. bit that's in the Horse Wisdom book that of course is Susan's card of choice and then there's several other cards that uh, go along with that and I'm reading the whole thing so that we can share with a group on, on Thursday and whatever that journey is. Um, and it just made me think, though, that, that it's so important when everybody comes that we honor whatever it might be that, that you're thinking and your desire when you come down. I think I'm here for knowledge in general. Okay. You know, to understand the animals and myself and other other creatures to expand how I think about all of that sort of thing. And um, just as a a relief for myself from everything <laughs> because I don't you know it's hard to find to make time to do something that's out of the routine of work yeah. and taking care of people and so on but this you know kind of felt for me it sort of fell into my lap so it was wonderful for me because I've, I've always loved horses so, again, is there what, what sort of knowledge can we? Well, the, uh, the knowledge of the way um, the way horses as beings function in the world. You know how they see the world, respond to it. Um, you know, all creatures have kind of a baseline very similar, but then each species has its own way of dealing with it. our dog's behavior and, and discuss it, or our children's behavior and discuss it, you know, not in the sense of, oh, we want to, we want to change this behavior, but because we want to understand it. Sometimes it needs to change. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and then in the journey that we have with the horse is what I'm finding and, and, and is a gift for us uh, to share with the folks that come down is what happens when relationships are encouraged and the individual personalities are allowed to come out and you foster that. What happens in that? Instead of, you know, the horse in tradition, you're going to do this, you're going to do that, you're either a beast of burden or if you're a show horse or a tool or something. And even in some of the therapy stuff, we see they're just kind of a prop and tool. And it's been really wonderful to include them in the sessions and let things come out and encourage that personality to come up. Mm -hmm. And I think it goes beyond even what most of us would say uh, anatomically would be what they should be doing. Mm -hmm. Because they are limited. Mm -hmm. you know, they have an incredible brain stem and, and limbic system, but their brain itself, left brain, is small. People even say, well, they don't, they're like a walnut. Mm -hmm. So maybe they're using 100% of their brain, even though it's smaller, and we're limited because we're beginning to explore all sorts of things, and if we allow ourselves, and ours expands as well. And we use more. There may be things that we've forgotten how to use that we used to use back in our evolutionary Right, I think, and it's, I mean, I think that's accelerating because now people spend so much time on the internet that the only senses on the internet are sight and sound. Mm -hmm and touch and smell and what's called proprioception, you know, how you perceive your body and the world <clears throat> are eliminated by that. So I think the horses are just living reminders of living and being in the world. And the other thing with the, what you were saying about the brain, you know, we often think, oh, the, the brain's a computer, but I think the much better analogy is it's like a Wi-Fi network. You know, we, we are, I mean, our brains are designed for communication, all social animals, and even non social animals, but especially horses with the herd, they don't have to figure it out themselves. It's mm -hmm. like if they, all of them together are like a computer network. Mm -hmm. And that goes back to the herd mentality, you know, mm -hmm. we talked about that before, the pack, wolves, dogs, people, you know, people. <laughs> the, the, the members of a pack are always fighting for who's on top and rival and, Many times humans, at best, are like pack animals, or even or even worse. Uh, and that different way of relating, of 
you know, the well-being of the individual depends on the well-being of the herd is sort of one of the key concepts in a herd animal. And that's, I think that just invites us to be with each other in a different way. I think horses have certainly changed the way I relate to most humans. So... Well, like you're saying, then get back to that, because in this uh, civilized world now, we've begun to have that pack, more of a pack mentality than a herd mentality. Or us as, as human beings that have evolved even beyond that into collaboration and altruism and all those things. You know, the sociobiology stuff like Mr. Wilson, Ed Wilson, have you seen the PBS thing been on with Ed Wilson, sociobiology? And, and uh, you know, in the discussion of that, of that collaborative piece, and we, we're, we're, you know, in, in parts and in, in, in areas of the civilization, we're still doing that. But we've lost a lot of it in the struggle every day. I turned in to, to watch the balloon stuff this morning to see if they were going to get up and what was going on, and they're given a traffic thing. And here it is, not even 6 o'clock in the morning, and the freeway is just packed. Mm -hmm. Lights, so people are already off, mm -hmm. off in the, in the boom, you know. And mm -hmm. I remember at 8 o'clock you went to work, you know, you drove, mm -hmm. and now it's just this in cities all over the all over the world. Mm -hmm. We have 30 cities, over 10 million peak population or something in the world in one city alone. Wow. So there's a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff going on. So anyway, so let's honor that and, and as we're out with the horse and stuff, if there's anything that you want to ask or you're curious about, um, we'd be glad to do it or we could do a little part of the session where we give some some information and, and things that are going on with the horses and you know, what we're doing this time of year and things like that. And Ron, what what is your passion? We notice it's filming. <laughs> this is my job too, yeah. But uh, it's part of my job description. You know, you know. But, uh, well, I, I was, all I can say is that uh, I, feel, I always feel energized uh, once I'm, uh, after I'm here. Uh, think the horses and the horses uh, relax me and they give me uh, uh, energy and uh, I, I've, I've learned a lot from them that I can't really put into words, you know? That's how I feel, like I understand them more and more but I can put it in words less and less. <laughs> yeah, well, and uh, yeah, so, I mean, but uh, what they teach us is not uh, necessarily um, <clears throat> something you can put towards. You know, I just realized there's a parallel with that one, what we talked about a few months ago, you know, the Reggie raising about instead of saying left brain, right brain, we should really say cortical brain, which is the thinking brain, the abstraction brain, which inherently is dissociated, it's sort of floating above like an observer. And instead of what well, is commonly referred to as the right brain, it's really the body brain, you know, the uh, brain stem. And, uh, and so I think the horses, because they use their body brain more than their cortical brain, even though I'm sure they have some cortical function, I think they just bring us into our body and out of our left brain, cortical brain, which is probably why it's hard to put in words what we're experiencing because the body brain doesn't use language. Right. It's all about senses. So with a horse, especially when we're initially interacting and coming together, we want to move very slowly. We can have a goal in our mind and an agenda that we want to do for the day, but we move very, very slowly. They help us to slow down calm down, breathe through things, let the blood pressure go down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the rapid heartbeat and the shallow nice. breaths, and the deeper breaths, and just take our time. And then when everybody's ready, and Ron, when we're ready to do a ride, and that ride might include riding out, and picking up the pace, it's a pace that both the horse and you are ready to, to experience. Okay. And then, of course, what I love is, is with exercise and movement, and I think the horses do enjoy after a while. They're not like a, a video that I was watching that I found very strange. A lady who's very well known with horses, and she says, well, you know, all horses are lazy. Huh. And I thought, well, whose fault is that? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, isn't that amazing? You know, we, we have to go to beauty parks to nature. I know, it's all chemical. <laughs> Look at nature.
Yeah, I, our YouTubers, they, would they look to see the horses, they don't care about seeing us. <laughs> want to see the horses. He seems to be talking to me today. What do you think he's saying? Um, I don't know, I think he just remembers me, you know? And I, it feels like he likes me. Uh -huh. Feels that way. So how about if we brush him down real quick just to get any dirt and, and loose hair off of him? Oh, yeah. We did a program last uh, Friday. Friday, a four-hour program at the uh, Youth Service Center for the youth there on probation, I mean on detention, actually. Is this the one with the two, you brought the two horses? Right, we brought Shadow and Nikki. And you can't have anything metal, even paper clips had to be taken out of it. And uh, but it was a great experience. Oh, we did love that we did and good feedback. Great. Well, I feel From like staff and the we kids. were we were actually working at three levels. We were working with the kids. We were sort of working with the staff, even though the staff was just standing there. Mm -hmm. uh, Let's just drop it right here. I'll help on the on that part of it. Let's do you feel like is that you? Okay. Yeah, Maybe you felt really okay. Really okay. He doesn't spend much time in the 60 cutter, does he? No. In fact, virtually none. He just comes to the video go. What's his that? Let me help you with that. That's what it looks like. Now, at night times, it dilates five times what our, our eyes do. So, so their night get vision. Get a close up of the eye? Mm hmm. Night vision is extremely, extremely good. And vision in general. Now, they say when he, they see, though, that they're actually seeing in a pattern like this. And then what's around, they can see too, like we're doing, but all around out here is actually kind of blurry. The focus area is right there in that, that band, in that center. So that's why when you ride with a horse, make sure you always give them plenty of head so they can adjust and see. So many people are all rigid, get that head up. They're gonna direct where the horse is gonna go. A good leader helps the horse not to feel claustrophobic and allows it to look where it needs to look. So, I'll uh, give them a lot of head, you mean? I'll allow them to the rain. Don't, don't pull them up don't tight. Pull them up. Don't pull them up tight. Give yeah, them plenty of uh, relaxed rain. And also, when you're doing that, you're radiating tension right down to that, too. And of course, it feels your tense. Uh, feels that you're tense because you're trying to hold them up too tight. Yeah, take the cool. Good boy. So I want to check his feet real quick. Are we done brushing? Are we good on the brushing yeah, part of it? Okay. Brush. Let me check his feet. Come on. Well, you have to come get your horse, Ron. There we go. Oh, I mean, you know, maybe maybe you're good him. enough that you can psychically ask him to come over. I forgot my horse. <laughs> well, remember, that's an activity we did, too, right. that we can reconnect with as part of check your horse and your horse's mood. Mm -hmm. But today we're doing, we're moving into some of the exercises for you. We're not doing, uh, we're not seeing if you'll kind of come to you. Uh, maybe next time. Let's see if I remember this. So I think Oh, no, wait, it's this way, isn't it? No, no, the other. No, you got yeah, it. Well, you got it. it. If you're on that side you of the it. horse, you got if it. you're on the left side of the horse, you use your right hand. You got it. Oh. Yeah. Very, very good. Yeah. You, did, you did that, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Let's you do give it a try. Let's give it a try. You want to do it again, Ron? You want to let me? No, that's okay. Let's let Leo give it a try. Yeah. And then walk back. But as you walk back, don't, don't pull him. Just imagine him standing there. Just imagine the force field between you and him getting stronger so he doesn't move towards you until you feel you're at the appropriate distance. And then you can invite him in. Okay, just uh. Good, Leah, bring his head back to you. Come on, Sam. You didn't he's finish your reading? Rude to you today, <laughs> he is being rude. Right, I think me, being, me talking was actually distracting you. <laughs> but you got the first part of it, so then when you invite him towards you, then as he's moving towards you, you make yourself really big and you say, whoa, and ask him to stop before he's all the way at you. Come on, Sam. Face and teacher, wow. faces. Oh, I'm so mean today. Oh, that's fine, buddy. 
Sam has really never done this before, this being my twin brother's course. We've really not done these activities, but this is where I'm excited about this because you've chosen this horse to be a partner. It's time for him to work with us and learn things that we're learning about him. He's learning about us from the ground up, not from the saddle down. You did it better than me. That was the elevator. <laughs> we'll do that next time, Ron. We'll do the step and then go up, okay? You're just more nimble, so we I let you cl climb her up there. Center. Deep breaths. Do the, well, look at that pose. Look, her back straight. She's exactly where she should be. Legs are at a good angle. Okay. Yeah, just squeeze and walk on. Lauren says your posture is great. Yeah, you know, very nice form. May I walk with you? Very nice form. May I walk with them? Of course. something about someday maybe uh, a galloping, galloping or yeah. Or, yeah. Right? I assume our, our viewers might enjoy that too, you know. <laughs> What's that, Ron? I, I assume that our viewers may enjoy that. Of, of you galloping. Yeah, right. Galloping away on the, into, the, into the sunset. There you go. Or the sunrise. So, leave comments, but... Play nice, guys, okay?
Thank you.